hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i am here to film my luxury handbag collection so we're just going to get started um in this video i'm just going to give you one occasion that i would like to wear the bag um and i'll start off with my newest additions to my collection so here we have the ysl wallet on chain as you can see it still has the tags because i have not worn it yet super cute one of the newest additions to my collection um just a gorgeous bag and i actually plan on wearing this in a couple of weeks for date night it's the perfect bag to carry on a date look at that gorgeous the next bag one of the newest additions to my collection is the christian dior small book tote um, burgundy and the embroidery the embroidery on this bag is insane the stitching is absolutely phenomenal um just a lovely little bit of a different addition to my collection but absolutely lovely look how pretty that is so the christian Dior book tote i like to wear this bag in the fall months because of the burgundy color this was actually my bag that i carry all of fall and as you can see it's pretty stuff pretty full so i will be doing what's in my book tote pretty soon and uh, putting this bag away another one of the newest additions to my collection is the Louis Vuitton Game On Core Heart Bag. How absolutely gorgeous is this bag? So, so pretty. Um, I did a reveal unboxing of this video. I'm um, sorry, of this bag. And I'm just so very blessed that to even be able to add this into my collection. So, it's the Louis Vuitton Monogram Game On Core um, from their spring collection. So pretty. Such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bag. We are going to, since I'm on Louis Vuitton, we will continue and I will do the rest of my Louis Vuitton collection. Um, so up next we have the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Look at that pink. This is in the Freesia. This is the Pochette, Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse um, and the Empron Leather in the color Freesia. The Empron Leather is my absolutely best. Um, I prefer it out of all the leathers and obviously I like it over their canvas. Um, the Ampra is just gorgeous. Some of my stuffing. And it's just literally one of my favorite bags. Um, I need to fix this because something is uneven in there. Um, pink is my favorite color. And this is just so pretty. And of course, it has the chain to go with it. But this is the Pochette Matisse. Um, and the occasion I like this for. For the hard bag, I didn't get to tell you guys the occasion. All occasions. That is my all bag. I'm wearing it everywhere. <laughs> Just all the time. Like, I'm literally going to wear the Louis Vuitton hard bag probably for the next year. But the Pochette Matisse, I like, this is a um, bag I like to wear on a lot of different occasions. Um, I really like it in the spring and summer. It's really small, compact. You can wear it as a crossbody, and it's just really good to... Um, just be kind of compact because it is still a small bag. So um, just all occasions, mainly if I'm kind of out with my girls or something of that nature. Continuing on with Louis Vuitton. We have one of my favorite bags. She hasn't came, come out of her dust bag, sadly. Um, I didn't get to wear her at all in 2020. But this is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in the Demier Azure color. Just a gorgeous bag with a pink interior. One of my favorite pieces, um, gonna have to be careful with these corners. You see just a tad bit, um, looks really good. You have to consider she has been in her dust bag for probably about a year now. I didn't go anywhere in 2020. I wonder why. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, um, she looks really good. Still one of my favorite bags. Um, I love to wear this bag in the spring. I also love to wear it in the winter if you want to have like a winter white um, just perfect for carrying all of your essentials. She's also a good work tote. Um, and a lot of people, a lot of complaints about the Azure color is the yellowing, which I have not had any. Been very blessed. She does stay in her dust bag, but uh, one of my favorite bags. And I like to put a really pretty pink bando on her to match the interior. I'm going to continue with a Louis Vuitton, one of my favorite bags. And that is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This is in the um, monogram. And this is in the GM size. So, um, this bag, I don't know what this is, this white stuff here. I'm hoping it's something I can just wipe off. But the canvas is looking great. 
corners are looking phenomenal for it to have been stored for over a year um no corner wear i love to wear this bag when i am traveling um yeah so when i'm traveling or this was my winter bag for the longest because for some reason in the winter months i love to carry my entire house with me candles no i'm kidding i don't i don't carry candles with me but <laughs> this um she's really good for travel um road trips a lot of people aren't doing air travel right now rightfully so but she's good for road trips um or anything where you need to carry a lot of essentials she's huge this bag is a tank you can fit literally everything 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 so that is my never full and next we are moving on to my favorite fashion house chanel okay so now we are going into chanel so this is the pink chanel mini rectangular with the gold tone hardware so this bag is also good for travel but instead of like using it to travel to the destination i use it while i'm at the destination as a crossbody when i'm out and about in the location um so yeah this bag has been through the ringer one of my favorite bags my chanel mini she will never be leaving my collection she does need to go to the spa because she has you see the chain is kind of stained a little bit but a gorgeous gorgeous bag up next and i am taking these out of their dust bag so bear with me is my um chanel a boy bag this is from the cuba collection a few years back another bag that will never leave my collection um in the pretty multicolor, gorgeous 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 and this bag is just good with the looks like the silver hardware but this bag is just good for so many occasions um i really like to carry it in the summertime in the summertime she gets like a whole month a um, couple months wear only thing i don't like is the corner wear um but one of my favorite favorite bags and um she's really good for whenever you want to wear her, but she normally comes out in the summer she's just so cute such a unicorn looks like ice cream easily easily one of my favorite bags in my collection just i get a lot of compliments on it too I would probably have to say out of all of my bags, this has to be my second most complimented bag in my collection. Okay, so up next, let's go with this one. Is my 12A Red Chanel Jumbo with the silver hardware and the caviar. Um, one of my favorite bags as well. 12A is just that perfect lipstick red um gorgeous gorgeous the quilting is still nice and puffy love 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 this bag i love how puffy the quilting still is it's just so amazing um because this bag is you know a little bit older um no creases no creases whatsoever this bag is just perfect for every single occasion you could possibly think of um i normally wear her wear this bag during the winter months but um it's a jumbo bag even though it's still kind of small uh, it still is a really big bag. It fits all my essentials, but um, she's really good for any occasion. I don't really think I wear this one too much in the summertime. Um, I'm into pink, if you guys can't already tell. Um, so um, in the summertime, I wear a lot of bright colors and pinks, which red goes with. But um, So she tends to get worn more so in the winter months, December, January, February, things like that. But that is my red jumbo. And just let's continue... We'll do one more jumbo, then we'll do a tote or something. Um, is one of my favorite, most iconic bags, my black Chanel jumbo um, and the caviar and the gold tone hardware. Um, nice and puffy still. One of my favorite bags as well. Caviar is just one of their one of the best um, leathers. I am so in love with this bag. Um, it's just really the iconic Chanel bag. I love the CC turn lock. I wear this bag any time of the year. I This bag, sometimes I wear it all year. This bag easily gets three or four months because it's like a tank. And it has no flaws, no imperfections. Um, the bag looks just as good today as when I bought it. So um, I wear this all the time. Spring, summer, fall, just whenever I feel like it. Um, definitely, definitely a statement piece. My Chanel Jumbo in black. It's my baby. Um, I want to say this was my first, after I sold my entire collection 10 years ago, as you guys know, this was my first um, Chanel bag back into, you know, I went straight for the top. And this bag now retails 
for what what is it? Is it seventy four hundred or seventy one? It's either seven thousand one hundred dollars or seven thousand four hundred dollars. No, I did not pay anywhere near that much. But that that is how much. Excuse me. That is how much it makes me stumble. I can't even get it out right because the prices increase so much. It's literally just unbelievable. So obviously it's not an investment piece because I'm not selling my bag. But if I were to sell, it would definitely sell for more than I paid for. And that to me is insane. This bag in a few years is going to be 10K. These price increases are insane. Like I just can't, it's, I just can't even believe it. Would I buy this bag today for the 7100 You know, honestly, I don't think I would. But she's worth every penny and I'm glad I added to her my, my collection when I did. As you guys can see, um, I've revealed several totes and I love tote bags. So here is my Chanel DeVille in the pink. Um, love, love, love this bag. I love, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the glitter and the Chanel. Isn't that just adorable? This is one of my favorite bags. Um, I probably, I wear this a lot, all months really, but I really like this bag in the spring because it has that pretty pas pastel color. Look, my nails are even a pastel color right now. I actually may switch to this bag probably in March. I didn't really wear it last year because we know 2020 uh, was just a little bit different. <laughs> But I probably will bring her out. Just one of my favorite bags. She's just gorgeous. Um, I love to wear this bag really at all times, mainly in the spring. She's a good travel bag. I see a lot of people bring this to resorts. Um, a lot of people travel with this bag. I haven't brought it to a resort because I'm just a little bit nervous. But um, she's really good for travel. I have taken her on um, some road trips. And just really good in the spring if you got a lot going on. She has a nice long chain. Um, and you can, um, definitely, you know, carry a lot in it. Um, and I love the chain drop, silver chain. So that is my Chanel DeVille. Easily, easily one of my favorite bags. Um, I'm actually looking forward to adding another Chanel DeVille to my collection. Um, one of my favorite bags. Last year when I did this video, well, in 2019, um, this was my favorite bag in my collection. And that is the Chanel. I'm taking her out of her desk bag, trying to be careful. That is the Chanel Jumbo. Still nice and very puffy. The pink Chanel Jumbo with the gold tone hardware. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Oh, just can't get enough of this bag. She's just so pretty. It's my favorite color, so I had to have it. It's that perfect Barbie pink. Quilting is, is super, super puffy on the front and the back. Just flawless. I carry this bag all the time. Um, no particular occasion. Really like her in the summer. She's just good. She fits all your essentials just like the other jumbos. Um, just a really good bag to out and about with your girls on a date. She's just such a fun, fun piece. If you don't have a Chanel jumbo. And also she's lambskin. And She's one of my favorite bags. I don't have a lot of issues with her. There has been a little bit of color transfer, a tad bit of corner wear. But for this bag to be four and a half years old, not a flaw. Just literally, literally perfect. I recently did a review if you guys want to see that. But um, my Chanel Jumbo. And that has been my favorite bag in my collection this entire time, um, I never thought anything would overthrow the Chanel Jumbo. And actually, these two bags go back and forth. But as of now, my favorite bag in my entire collection is my Louis Vuitton Game On Core heart bag. Just a gorgeous piece. So I really go back and forth with the Jumbo and my heart bag as two, which is my favorite. So this bag, I'll carry this for the rest of, probably the rest of the 2021. <laughs> so, Yeah. So that is my collection and um, super excited about wearing some of that, my bags this year since in 2020, a lot of them didn't get wear. So if you have any questions, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, join the party. I release one, um, one to two luxury videos per week along with other videos that I do. I would love for you guys to join the fun and subscribe to my channel if you like the content. Um, so happy shopping and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.